art's been right through my life, right from an early age. The minute I quit my job and said, right, I'm going to paint full time, that was it. I, I'm an artist. <laughs> Most of my mountain trips now are based around looking for ideas for paintings. It didn't used to be that way, I would, I would just go out and have a, have a nice time and if I saw something great that would make a good painting, fantastic. Now I'm heading out with a tent as well and um, the sole purpose is looking for painting material. I don't paint outside as much as I want to. Um, you know, it's uncomfortable up there, but I love it when I do it. But when, when I put the effort in and I go up there and I camp and I paint in the tent or I paint, I take, take my stuff out for the day and paint outside. I do enjoy it. What I produce is not anything like the kind of stuff I produce in the studio, but it has its own merits, its own um, enjoyment from being outside and from sort of taking away a souvenir, if you like, from actually being there. Hmm. That cloud is... Not great, as long as it passes, then I'll get a view. Looking clear and uh, promising, so I'm full of a positive, nervous energy. I think I'm going to leave the tent up and <clears throat> take the sketch pad, and I think I'll take the paints as well. Head down the ridge and get in the right place for for sunrise. It's an adventure, and that's what I love. As long as my hands are warm enough, I'll do loads of sketches and um, and then I can use those in the studio. They're sort of a way of working out the composition for, for painting, uh, rather than recording sp specific details and, and trying to record the scene as accurately as possible. It's more about working out, okay, I could do Stob Ben there and I could do Ben Aver in the background there and then the lock over there. So I could I could work all that out rather than taking photographs and working that out later in the studio, which I find you're already reducing um, your ideas when you take a photo, you're, you're, you know, you can't move around, you can't... I just think it's easier when you're looking at the scene, you can visualise what, what your finished painting might be like and, 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 and sketch different ideas. So that's good. The little painting is more for colours and I can refer back to it while I'm painting the big piece. From the moment I'm out in the mountains, I'm constantly thinking about the painting and, and what the finished painting might look like. So, um, and that's, that's a real fun aspect for me, is, is sketching away, imagining what it's going to look like as a finished piece. And um, so I'll, I'll come back to the studio, I'll do sketches, little miniature paintings, all the while trying to compose the finished painting in my mind and then um, and then it's just a case of uh, working away on the finished piece but I mean that can take anything from a couple of weeks for a small painting up to well four months for the for the biggest paintings I've done. I think there is a term that I quite like and that's romantic realism there's elements that are very realistic to my paintings but also I bring this kind of fantastical element to them. Yeah I'm a, I'm a landscape painter and mountains is, is it really for me.